tank. So I figured I would show you the technique I use for wob, and it is the more dangerous one. Uh, wob is the most dangerous event for parachair. Most people think it would be caber, but it's not. It's this. Uh, we can't dodge if we get a bad release and it comes straight back down from going straight up. So this is the technique I use. This is the one you have to be more careful of. Um, it's a more traditional looking wob. Um, once again, I haven't found a need for counterweight yet, but uh, once again, you're going to have to adapt the small things like counterweights and that to your individual position. Um, so what you do is you back in. What I tend to do is I'll look over and that's how I'll gauge my arc for where I need to be based off the uh, standard height. Um, but what you do is you do your standard wind up and then you're going to release traditionally with your left hand on your wheelchair rim for extra stability for your core. Um, I guess there's no better thing to do now than show y'all how it's done. So this is technique number two for wob. This is traditional parachair wob. All right, so we're pretending our standards are right behind me where the trig is. We're gonna sit there, we're gonna lock our brakes. We're gonna get a look, make sure that we're comfortable with where it is for our arc. We're gonna take our weight, get our hand for stability, brakes are set, we're gonna wind up. And then release. Okay. The one thing to always remember with this technique, as with most of our techniques from Parachair, the higher you get, the more angle and distance you will need. We have much longer traditional arcs than an able-bodied person due to the ability of them to get their legs under them and get into a proper C shape for all that beautiful stuff for release. We do a much more arced throw, whereas more traditional athletes and able-bodied athletes do a very high arc, but it's narrow. Ours is much wider. This is, as what I said, to kind of turn me on to the wob for distance technique for lightweight, which I've had great success with. Uh, that's in another video. If you're looking for more detailed descriptions, uh, more detailed training videos, uh, keep an eye out for them, click subscribe, and as we put them up, they'll be there, or we will put up links as to where to find them. Uh, thank you, guys.